This prophetic encouragement is from Nate Johnston and was published on March 8, 2024. Changing Lanes, Houses, and Clothes I've had many messages in the last week from people sharing me their dreams that have similar threads. Changing lanes, new cars, moving houses, and changing clothes. Moving house can represent the change of alignments and covering, as well as kingdom relocation. Dreams of changing clothes or a new coat can represent the changing and upgrading of mantles, and changing lanes represents merging into a new arena, metron, and or operational status. I want to share just a few points that are significant for this Cairo season. We are in a season where God is upgrading what you carry. There are five-fold ministers that are moving into another grace for a new assignment. But if you aren't aware of it you'll be confused, frustrated, and wonder why the grace seems to be lifting on what you are doing. In God it is always from glory to glory, He never subtracts, only multiplies. The birthing of new assignments is messy because like a baby it doesn't come with a manual, just a sudden deep groaning passion that you don't always know how to nurture, steward, feed, or what to do with it. It defies all comfort and forces you to live beyond the safe and secure place you once were I and assignments move you, so if you have received it from the Lord, don't fret. He is walking this out with you. There has also been an increased awareness of the more of the Lord recently which has caused many to get hungry and pray crazy radical prayers which is shifting them into a season of personal revival and the birthing of new mandates. This hunger is stirring up a generation to seek God's face and life-changing and history-shaking encounters are happening right now. That is creating swells in the spirit that can only lead to a mighty outpouring of His presence. People are waking up branded by the glory and selling all, laying down all, for the pearl in the field. The dissatisfaction many have felt is the prompting of the Holy Spirit to move out of the place you have camped and to embark on the new adventure awaiting you. As the old Chinese proverb says, dissatisfaction is the mother of progress. So it does God kindle a holy dissatisfaction in us to cause us to not just move but to dig down deep and bring forth what He has planted within us. Kingdom innovation and extraordinary exploits come from the place of feeling dissatisfied, and so if you have felt this way, ask the Lord what He is wanting you to see right now. Do you feel raw right now and don't know why? This is a season where God is calling you to discover the depths of your purpose and destiny. The enemy has sought to keep you caged and trapped in the place where all you see and surround yourself with are the distraction of endless cycles, warfare, and struggle that prevent you from seeing the bigger picture and what you were born for. You may be feeling stuck, stale, and stagnant. But right now he is awakening your purpose, stirring up unfulfilled dreams and putting a new coat on your back and declaring this is your season to arise. Here are some verses for this word. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 from the Amplified Bible And we all, with unveiled face, continually seeing as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are progressively being transformed into His image from one degree of glory to even more glory which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Isaiah 60 verses 1-4 to from the Amplified Bible A glorified Zion Arise from spiritual depression to a new life, shine be radiant with the glory and brilliance of the Lord. For your light has come, and the glory and brilliance of the Lord has risen upon you. For in fact, Darkness will cover the earth and deep darkness will cover the peoples. But the Lord will rise upon you Jerusalem and His glory and brilliance will be seen on you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes around you and see. They all gather together, they come to you. Your sons will come from far away, and your daughters will be looked after at their side.
Isaiah 40 verse 31 from the Amplified Bible But those who wait for the Lord who expect, look for, and hope in Him will gain new strength and renew their power. They will lift up their wings and rise up close to God like eagles rising toward the sun. They will run and not become weary, they will walk and not grow tired. Psalm 139 verses 15 to 16 from the Passion Translation Bible You even formed every bone in my body when you created me in the secret place. Carefully, skillfully you shaped me from nothing to something. You saw who you created me to be before I became me. Before I'd ever seen the light of day, the number of days you planned for me were already recorded in your book. Job 17 verses 7-9 to from the Amplified Bible My eye has grown dim unexpressive because of grief, and all my body's members are wasted away like a shadow. The upright will be astonished and appalled at this, and the innocent will stir himself up against the godless and polluted. Nevertheless the righteous will hold to his ways, and he who has clean hands will grow stronger and stronger. Isaiah 43 verses 18 to 19 from the Amplified Bible Do not remember the former things, or ponder the things of the past. Listen carefully, I am about to do a new thing, now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even put a road in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. Here's a pray along video for this word. Heavenly Father, You are my almighty, all-powerful, all-loving Father. Father, I know You won't let me waste away and let my eyes grow dim in grief. You will hold me up with Your right hand so I can stand. Your Spirit will rejuvenate and restore me. And I will walk and run in the holy highway You have prepared for me. In this crossroads, in this junction, I know that You are with me letting me know whether to go left or right. You are my manual, map, and compass in this journey from glory to even more glory. I feel your presence and your glory grow and multiply in me. It's waiting to burst forth, and I will arise and shine with the brilliance of your glory. And, Father, I will successfully birth the vision you showed me. I will live out what you have written in my book and the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of your glory, as the waters cover the sea, in Jesus' name. Amen. The Gathering with Lou Engel and Nate and Christy Johnston Come join us on Good Friday, March 29th, for the gathering of God's fiery remnant. It will be a night of the presence, prophecy, prayer, and communion. See you there. Click the links available above and in the description box below to register. To support and read more prophetic words from today's featured prophet, Nate Johnston, please visit natanchristie.co.